It was just the talk on a, on a PHP, uh, the development of PHP, and how it all grew from uh, from actually, yeah, well, pretty much nothing to uh, what it is uh, today. Mm -hmm. And you made an instant interesting uh, case uh, that you said um, there's not going to be, be a lot of change in PHP 6 uh, uh, in comparison to PHP 5. So can you tell uh, uh, why why that is? And so um, the, the reason for that is fairly simple. I think that from a language perspective, PHP is quite mature. Uh, if you look at the rate of changes from 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, they are very substantial changes, but there was still a trend of fewer changes. From 3 to 4, there were much more changes than uh, there were from, say, 4 to 5, and there are still going to be less changes in 5 to 6. Uh, again, the reason for that is that it's mature, it's already doing what most people need. In 6, what we're really trying to address is one specific limitation of PHP in uh, multi-language environments and the Unicode support. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it should really look uh, quite familiar to everyone. You shouldn't expect a very um, serious change in the language itself. So we won't see a lot of uh, broken applications and... Uh... Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> you probably I didn't will, say that. Yeah. The reason PHP 6 is actually taking so much time is that this one change in adding the Unicode support mm -hmm. yeah. is very, very challenging. Uh, and it's very difficult to do it in a way that doesn't break applications. So unfortunately, uh, I can't really guarantee that PHP 6 will only break applications. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason it's taking so much time to bake is that we're trying to see how we can minimize this impact. And that's why we decided also to um, not wait for all of the other small and medium improvements that we've made. And most of them will be, will be making it in, into uh, PHP 5.3. Okay. And uh, you also mentioned, uh, well, we also read it on the blogs uh, about the, the, the cooperation with the Dojo in Zen mm -hmm. Framework. Can you comment a little on that? Well, just a little. Um, basically, uh, the Zen Framework teams and Dojo have decided to cooperate. Uh, initially, it doesn't mean, you know, there's not any code yet uh, that we can show. But in the longer run, it means that you're going to have support in the Zen Framework for generating uh, Dojo based uh, um, dojo based scripts uh, and again in the long run it should simplify the creation of uh, RIAs of rich internet applications mm -hmm. using the Zen framework and, and dojo will be in there as transparent as we can make it. Okay, and why, did, uh, why was there a, a uh, choos chosen for uh, Dojo and not uh, jQuery or prototype? Uh, I think, I mean, we could go um, uh, whichever uh, way we, we wanted. The reason that we ended up using Dojo in addition to the technology itself, which seemed to be uh, quite mature, is that there are also a lot of other companies uh, like IBM that have chosen Dojo and it is I wouldn't say it's an industry standard uh, yet, but it's maybe the one which is closest to being industry standard, and it made sense for us since also we are cooperating a lot with IBM uh, uh, to, to choose Dojo out of all the other options. Okay, well, thanks for the, uh, the talk and uh, have a great uh, conference. Thank you, you too. Thank you.